Hey guys, so we are on the way to the grocery store. This is the first time we're gonna do this type of an episode where we are gonna show you how we're going to buy the food for Sunday's video. That's right. So you can prepare all of the ingredients in advance and then be ready to cook it as soon as the video comes out. How good is it? We're gonna show you how to save money and how to buy the right ingredients and all that kind of good stuff that you guys have been asking about. So here we go, we're in the grocery now. All right, Chef Adam, what are we making today? Cooking on the grill today. Making a grill meal prep making video. Meal prep video. So, first we need some veggies. Go to the veggies. Capsicums or peppers. Show them. It's a real thing. They call it capsicum here. So we have some green capsicums or red. And that's all they have here. So we have. So green's cheaper, but we want red. So if we were trying to save a lot of money, you can see here that it says six fifty per kilo, and here it says seven fifty per kilo. So obviously the greens are cheaper. So we're gonna we're gonna do half and half. So I want maybe three of each. So we have our eggplant and our zucchini. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, we only get a couple small ones. Sorry, again. Small ones make Ooh. it easier to cut. Yep, definitely. Ooh, check it out. Zucchini's on special today. Ooh. I need six of these. I can't believe how expensive eggplant is here in Australia. Eggplant is not that expensive in America. Six zucchini. Okay. And I'm gonna get some cauliflower because they're on special. And now, I'm gonna make the Alfredo sauce that we put out a couple weeks ago. Mmm, so yummy. Is it each? You get a big one. Ooh. Each. I know. Each, that was a big one. Oh yeah, look. See? Two dollars each? It's not two dollars per kilo. So obviously you're gonna find the biggest one because they're all the same price. And why would you buy a small one instead of the big one that I found if they're two dollars each, right? Boggins. Boggins. <laughs> We're gonna get some, some sort of potato for this recipe. As you can see, all these ones in packets. Are like super expensive. Well, three like fifty a kilo. Like these sweet potatoes are four fifty a kilo. Oh wait, this one's even better. Baby white potatoes, seven dollars a kilo. Yeah, come over here, and the loose ones, not not lined in a packet, only a buck ninety a kilo. Dollar ninety a kilo for sweet potatoes, and dollar eighty per kilo for the little red potatoes. So I think we're gonna go with these. Going for sweet potato. We'll get some nice long ones, cook on the barbie, and we're gonna wrap them up in some foil. <laughs> so sweet. get a couple long ones. And see here, don't get tricked guys. When you buy things like this, see how this is seven dollars a kilo? Even though it says three hundred and fifty, look at this. It's only five hundred grams or three fifty. Where you look at this, instead of five hundred grams, it's one kilo and it's four fifty. So even though this looks like more expensive than that, it's actually cheaper because you got to look at the weight not the price so it's 450 a kilo versus seven dollars a kilo so more bang for your buck if you get that one which is surprising because these are sweet potatoes and those are white potatoes and in america sweet potatoes would definitely be more expensive than the white potatoes crazy the only americans kangaroo it's a real thing sustainable meat kangaroo which means that it's not farmed it's caught out for the land we look for steak, look for specials. Specials are always good. Obviously, that's very expensive. I feel it. It's a very expensive cut of meat. XC. Very XC. Oyster blue steak. There's a lot of there's a lot of gristle and fat in that. Mm. Just for taste wise, we wouldn't want that. Porterhouse. Let's have a look. The steak is one of the most expensive cuts of meat we have here at Oz. So obviously wherever you're from, it's whatever makes great value for you. So steak is quite expensive. Obviously the chicken is gonna be much uh, more inexpensive than the steak. Mm -hmm. But when I get it, to so show you guys how to cook it anyway, if you choose to get beef. Nine bucks a kilo. Cheaper than just buying a smaller package because it's $12 a kilo if you only get two breasts instead of four. Try. 
In Australia, for some good reason, the thighs are more expensive than the breasts. I don't know why that is. No, it's more expensive in America too, for is the thighs. It? Yep. Oh, there you mm -hmm. go. Crazy. Okay, chicken. Oh. So salmon's pretty expensive here. It's uh, 35 bucks a kilo. This one's even 39 bucks a kilo. But it's having a quick sale, so it's 50% off, which you can totally buy these as long as you're cooking them this day or the next day. And if you're not going to, just put them in your freezer. It. Save so money, man. Some of these. Sweet. Let's go. Perfect. So that's pretty much it, guys. And the rest of the stuff is at Adam's house, like olive oil, lemon, and spices, and stuff like that. So, yeah. That's it. Shopping trip number one is officially done. So go get these ingredients, and we'll catch you on Sunday for the recipe video. Bye. <laughs> so the total came to $68, and if you divide that into 12 meals, it will be $5.60 a meal. And we overbought with vegetables, so it's like $5 a meal. Even less than if you're from America, you can get Things like eggplant, much cheaper. Yeah, the vegetables here are really expensive. Five dollars a meal? That's crazy, man. Yep. You could go to a restaurant and buy the same kind of things and it's gonna be like 13 to 15 to 20 dollars a meal depending on where you are in America. So now we're gonna go home and cook this up and make sure to catch the video on Sunday. Bye guys. Bye guys. <laughs>